Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and today's video I've got my final design of this week and as it is pride month I thought I'd go for a pride inspired rainbow design using the nail team's glitters of the week. So it's a bit of a long one but to see how I created this one please keep watching. So I'm working on Liza, my red iguana hand, and I applied the gem stiletto tips. We're gonna keep them at full length for this set. So the neon matte mix glitters I'm using are a fuchsia, beautiful pink, and then we've got the purple mix. Also gonna use a little touch of the blue mix and the green. And last but not least, we have got the yellow mix. Uh, I'm also going to be using a little bit of Angel White and I have got the Perfect Nails White Art Gel and my Avery Brush, my Painted and Posted Palette. Um, they are no longer open uh, but I still love uh, my palette and of course I'll be using Crystal Clear Acrylic. So I'm just starting off and I'm applying my thin clear base and then I'm gonna get into the design. So as I said in the intro, this is a little bit of a longer design because there's a lot of uh, backwards and forwards with those middle to color block nails. I would normally only do one accent color block nail, uh, but I really wanted to do two in this design. So I kept the pinky and the index finger really plain and simple otherwise this video would have ended up being probably three times as long so i'm going straight in with my first color block and i'm using the fuchsia matte glitter mix so picking up small beads of clear acrylic into the glitter mix and then I'm just starting off with a little amount so I can get nicely and neat around the cuticle. Once I'm happy with that I'm going to start bringing the glitter a little bit further down uh, on a little bit of an angle and I'm going to try and get it as straight as I can. Not easy when you're working with glitter but just using the brush uh, and you see there, I was just checking where all my blocks were going to go so that I can get all eight, eight, five colours in um, and have similar size blocks. So I was happy with the first block on the ring finger, so I'm going to let that set and move on to the middle finger and do exactly the same. So I want to get a nice, neat cuticle um, before adding more of the glitter and bringing it down the nail roughly to the same point as the block on the ring finger is and then I just use sort of the side of the brush just to neaten it up as best I can. Um, I felt I could add a little bit more here uh, so I'm just pushing the glitter in to try and make it a straight line again just checking where the other blocks are going to go so that they all fit pat it down because I need to encapsulate this and that is when I will neaten up that uh, block once it is encapsulated in clear acrylic which is what I'm going to do now. So I don't need a massive bead of clear, I just need one that is going to be big enough to encapsulate this little color, uh, glitter block. Uh, and I'm not worrying too much about apex and structure. I will check that at the end and just encapsulate the whole design where I need to. I did need a little touch more and I'm focusing on building that wall like I do with all color blocks or um, reverse smile lines. I want that wall. Using the side of the brush, I'm just trying to neaten it as much as I can, but I am gonna go in with my craft knife and my nail file just to neaten it up. So here in with the craft knife, I probably should have let it um, set a little bit longer. I also pulled out some of the glitter, which I didn't want to do because I didn't want um, any little clear gaps. But 
I just poked it back in and we're going to let it set in place while I cap the block on the middle nail in exactly the same way creating that wall of clear acrylic uh, that I can then take the next block up to. So there's a lot of backwards and forwards in this design and it is doing the colour block that takes time because you need each block to set uh, before you can move on to the next and I'm also going to be adding uh, a line of um, that art gel along the acrylic wall so of course I need to cure that each time as well so that is what made this a slightly longer video I did cut out unnecessary bits here you can see I'm just trimming away that excess. I did also decide to go in with my nail file on some of these blocks. I probably should have done it with all of the blocks. I learnt the hard way. Um, but I liked the finished look. Even though it wasn't perfect, I thought it was a perfectly imperfect design. Whilst those two blocks are uh, set, I'm just painting on the angel white acrylic on the pinky. I'm using this as a design powder. It is a strength powder, but I much prefer using white as a design powder. Um, I just find it's better to work it slightly wetter. If you work it too dry, it sticks to the brush, it clumps to the brush. I just, I just never get on with white. Uh, although this is one of the best whites I've ever used, I just prefer to use it design so I'm just painting that on and look at the pigmentation and it I think it is the pigment that causes it to be a bit uh, if you use it too dry uh, but I'm going to build up the structure with crystal clear acrylic so I'm all painted on the pinky I just tapped the clear acrylic to see if it's fully set and now I am just painting along that wall and this is where I realized I probably should have filed just to really neaten it up and also neaten up a bit of the glitter that was sort of still poking out but as I said I liked how it turned out so I wasn't too worried and if I had sat and filed and neatened up every block perfectly it would have taken me even longer. I decided to go with the art gel because it's more pigmented and I'd only need one coat to get the full white whereas a gel polish sometimes I need two and I was only painting it along that clear acrylic wall. I'm going to uh, cure this for 60 seconds. No I didn't keep that whole thing in and then we can go in with the next block of glitter so I'm going in with the purple now. So getting it right up to that first block. Remember I need to encapsulate each of these blocks and I want to try and encapsulate each one at the same height as the previous one. So I'm really patting this glitter down. The one thing I love about these glitter mixes is with the fine, fine, fine glitter within the chunky pieces, it's relatively easy to get full coverage without doing as much work as you may need to with a fully chunky glitter. Happy with the placement on the first nail, so gonna do the same on the middle. I'm really patting it down, try and keep it at sort of even height all the way. I don't want it sort of sticking up and being a little bit higher and thicker in one area than others. And just using the very tip of the brush to move the glitter around where I needed to. One thing you will or might notice if I've not cut it out is I regularly check how much room is left on the nail and where the rest of my blocks are going to go. And they're all going to fit in and be similar sizes. The only way you're going to get them the same size is to measure it. I didn't have time for that. <laughs> so I kind of doing it by eye and guessing and I thought it didn't turn out too badly. Again let that glitter set otherwise once you come in to encapsulate it you've got the risk of smushing it and moving it around and then again I'm going to encapsulate I'm building up that wall patting it down trying to keep it the same height as that first block I have capped it's 
doesn't matter if it's not 100% and now I'm going in with my knife trimming away the excess remember if you're doing this on a client and using a knife you want to be super 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 careful if you're not confident don't use a knife do the work with a brush and file uh, you can also use things like cotton or dental floss um, but don't use the sharp knife if you're not confident and you've got to wait for that perfect point if the acrylic is too wet it is just going to make a complete mess if it is too set your knife is not going to go through so it needs to be hardened slightly but still so still soft for the knife to go through so i'm capping the next block um patting it down see i'm using the brush just to shape that wall as much as i can and then i will trim away the excess uh, and then leave this block to fully set before going in and painting as i said some of them i did file because i felt where I'd pulled out bits of glitter um, it left it a little bit wonky where I'd sort of tried to press it back in uh, and I think this is one of those blocks that I did file but none of that was kept in the video so I'm just neatening it up with the brush because I had messed up some of the glitter underneath and whilst those two blocks fully set I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply the white acrylic to the index nail uh, so again just painting it on starting off getting a nice neat cuticle and then I'll continue painting the product down the nail until I've got full coverage I'm not going to waffle on through that I'm just gonna let you watch Right, our purple block has fully cured and I have just filed it a bit to neaten it up. So now I'm going in with my white art gel using my Gems Avery brush, just painting it on that wall. Trying not to get any onto the nail tip itself, but it wasn't the end of the world if I did. I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds and then we are ready to add in the next block of glitter and the next color I'm going to use is the blue uh, and it is very much a repetitive design now um, doing exactly the same thing every time so I'm not really going to waffle on too much because I'd just be saying the same things over and over again uh, so while I get on with this I hope you're all coping with the heat here in Britain uh, I appreciate people in some countries this won't seem hot but we are just not made for heat in Britain uh, and whilst a lot of people long for it I certainly don't I don't cope in the heat uh, and I personally am struggling but I hope the rest of you are enjoying it I hope you are looking after yourselves keeping hydrated uh, sun cream and all that i'm sure it's not going to be around for ages we just don't get long summers here in britain um but whilst it is here if you are a heat kind of person do please enjoy it um it is certainly affecting the work i'm managing to do at the moment with my content but i'm going to have a video slightly differently that i will upload tomorrow which is going to explain all of that and give you a little bit more of an update so i'm not going to give that away and say much more 
So I'm applying my clear acrylic building the wall on my next block of colour. Um, it was starting to turn warmer when or hotter when I did this design. And the heat does play havoc with how fast your acrylic sets. So it is even harder, I think, to judge that perfect cutting moment when um, your acrylic is setting faster because of the heat. Uh, so I don't recommend doing lots of colour blocks when it's too hot. It's so faffy and my mind was just completely done in by the end of this set. Um, so I'm going to let that set. Uh, off camera I did start encapsulating the white nails with clear acrylic and building up the apex. I didn't show that um, because I just wanted to focus on showing building up the colour block. Uh, so going in with my white gel again and then we're going to cure that before going in with the next block of colour which is green I think. Let's see if I'm right. So we're going to go in with green, which means the final block is yellow. Uh, so I said at the introduction, this is my last design video of the week. Uh, normally I would have a video on a Sunday, but Sunday is Father's Day. So I'm going to have a little bit of a uh, day off of social media. Uh, and for that reason, I didn't want to be worrying about uploading videos and pictures on my social media. Uh, I did only do the two design videos this week. As I said, I'm struggling a bit with the heat. All will be explained a little bit more in a update catch up video tomorrow. Uh, but for that reason, I just didn't manage to do quite as many acrylic designs as I would normally do. Uh, so just the two this week, but I think they are two. I thought personally they were two fabulous designs. I loved how this one turned out. You will see at the end. Um, as faffy as it was and even though as I said it wasn't quite perfect with those uh, colour block lines I still loved it there was something perfectly imperfect about it I am going to finish off these two middle nails now and I'm going to stop talking uh, when they were finished I just checked over the nail to see if I needed to add any more clear acrylic if to make sure I had uh, enough coverage uh, thickness and structure and the apex in place I did add that in where I needed to and then I filed these nails uh, to a nice sharp stiletto again uh, ready for those finishing touches so I will be back with you for for those touches
So here they are all freshly filed. As I said, they weren't perfect, but I absolutely love those two rainbow nails in the middle. Now, I thought the white nails were looking a little bit grubby. I wasn't 100% happy with them. So I've decided to go in with some chrome. So I'm going in with a nice layer of Tina Top, uh, Gems Tack Free Top Coat over the entire nail want to get down those side walls right to the tip and then i'm going to pop in the lamp to cure uh, i'm going to do a full 60 second cure sometimes with chromes and pigments you sort of it's a bit of trial and error sometimes you only need to do a half cure sometimes a flash cure but i find with these a full 60 second cure works fine and then i'm just rubbing that white chrome from perfect nails which i did get from the nail team not sure if it's still available i'm afraid uh into that uh top coat and this just took away that sort of that grubbiness that i thought the white acrylic looked uh and made it just look a little bit extra without taking anything away from those rainbow nails so i dusted off the excess uh, chrome from the nails i'm not going to worry about the chrome around the cuticle because i will wipe that away when everything is cured and now i'm going in and top coating all of these nails um, and we're going to bring those middle two nails back to life you can just see the white lines it's a bit harder between the yellow and the green but it is there and what you'll notice is I do a wipe off my brush after doing the chrome nails before putting it back into the bottle just to get rid of any little bits of chrome that might have transferred to my brush cured these in my lamp for a full 60 second cure and then i just let them cool off slightly once they come out the lamp before cleaning around the cuticle and get rid of any uh, chrome on the finger itself if i was doing this design on a actual person and an actual set of nails i would double top coat that chrome but uh, for liza here just wasn't necessary so that meant this design is done and I absolutely loved how this one turned out uh, I loved the two white nails in contrast with the two rainbow nails it was very time consuming to do but it definitely worth it uh, and this is sort of my pride rainbow set for this year and I was getting frustrated at times when doing this but I did have fun creating it so that is my final design video for this week i really do hope you guys have enjoyed these too i had so much fun creating both of them uh, so i'd love to know what you think of this design but also the design i uploaded on wednesday oh just moving in a little bit so you can have a slightly close-up view of these nails that's something I normally cut out. I obviously wasn't paying attention. Uh, so we have come to the end of this video. So I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments down below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and check out the description box because I'll pop all the product links in there. Everything I used was from the nail team. And don't forget on all full price products, you can use my code Helen55% off. If that white chrome is still available, I will pop that link in the description box, but it is possible it is out of stock and the nail team are phasing out perfect nails, uh, so it will not be available again. As I said earlier on, I will be back with one more video this week tomorrow, a little bit of a update and catch up video, so please join me for that. But for today and this video, Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday and a fabulous weekend. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Mwah.